Stop. I love how much your boyfriend is. Hold me down. <laughs> Great. First doctor's note I had that isn't a forgery, and Mr. I can pick up a girl has to make it look all suspicious. Hey, Emma, did JT say where we're supposed to leave our costumes? I've had more conversations with the janitor than I've had with you. I was acting, just kissing all my nerves out pre-dress rehearsal. But don't worry, Nate. I'll wait for my cue next time. For Dracula, are you trying to mess with me? Are you gonna be in the ravine again tonight? Are we gonna party? I think I need another bracelet. I don't like being messed with, okay? I know. I need a minute with my daughter. Well, that's adorable, sir. Cut the commentary, Jason, go. And stand by for a concerned father figure lecture. You come in at three in the morning, hysterical, crying, wanting to talk about the shooting, and now you're kissing random guys? It wasn't random. Oh, please, Em, let me, let me be here for you. Let me talk to you. The bell's gonna go. Thanks, Marco. Taping this one right to my computer monitor. Take care, Jimmy. Poor nurse Paula. She's gonna miss me. But home has a full fridge and a widescreen. Craig and I can come hang out without visiting hours. Oh, we can play Kid Ulrich as loud as we want. Yeah, and your dad can tuck you in instead of Nurse Paula. She's the only thing I'm gonna miss about this place. Lock the doorway, Pops. No time for speed bumps. You ready? You look good, Jim. I don't like you look good, Jim. The rails are putting in at the condo. They're not done. Not yet. So? So I'm all over the contractors. So? One more week, Tops. Maybe sooner if I can string it. Mr. Brooks, Jimmy gets around well. I know Jimmy's made great progress, but I can't be with him 24-7 right now. And I don't want something happening, something that's gonna trash all the progress that he's made. He really wants to go. What, what about Mrs. Brooks or a nurse? I mean, we could even help out. Forget it, guys, whatever. Sixteenth May. Castle Dracula is a virtual prison, and I am its prisoner. Worse, I fear I may be going mad. If Nate was 50 and fat, you could have caused cardiac arrest. Which is I am now. Anything so for the theater? Shh. The of my candle, I need complete teen girl details. Why? Good. Tongue, like it or not, bring the answers over tonight. I have to go to the ravine tonight. I'm meeting some people. Is it too much to ask for silence in the peanut gallery? There, in the moonlight, were three young women. Three? Am I ever gonna get three of them? Alex is at the doctor's. She should be back. Lexi, 
It was nothing. Come on. Lexi is late for her scene. You want a scene, JT? Hey, best friend Amy, let's give JT a scene. <laughs> Tell me about the ravine, Amy. About how you went down on my boyfriend, Amy. And the bracelets you got for it? I didn't sleep with him. By whose definition? Just come outside, Alex. Don't touch me. Don't talk to me. I'll deck your smug face, too. Dr. Johnson, line 235, please. Dr. Johnson. Shake it off, Mopey Brooks. I'm not Mopey. You know, a chair's only a prison if you let it be. Stop the inspirational quotes. I'm not buying it. What you shouldn't buy is your dad's attitude. You and I both know Jimmy Brooks can do whatever he sets his mind to. At least I know it. It doesn't take Sherlock Holmes figuring out why would you hook up with Jay? Are you in love with him? No, of course not. So. What do you get out of it? It's a really stupid question. No, what you're doing is stupid. You're letting a disgusting bottom feeder use you to serial cheat on his girlfriend. Should you really be preaching to anyone about that? We're not having real sex. It's pretty close. But I'm not getting pregnant. Why are you trying to hurt me? Because you won't leave me alone. You're better than this. You're better than what you're doing. What do you know about who I am or what I'm worth or anything? Special delivery from the Sawyer Dad the Saxa Pizzeria. Uh, I'll hold it out till tomorrow. What's tomorrow? Student Council Pres Man gets you both out of school. And then you come over here and bust me out. Sounds like trouble. I'm, 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 not, I'm not good with trouble. I need to see something beyond you two and these ugly ass walls. Tomorrow, you're Houdini on wheels. <laughs> okay. And Houdini wants to see Kid Elric live tomorrow night. Yeah. Jay. Hang with me instead. You could use another friend, right? Friends with benefits. Hey, we could all use a good benefit, too. Maybe next time. Jay, can I climb in? I went to the ravine, but you weren't there. My day kind of sucked in case you didn't notice. So let's make you feel better. Alex is sick with something. She thinks I gave it to her and she won't talk to me, so I don't feel like it tonight. Are you gonna cry now? You are one cold girl. There's a ton of guys who would love a chance to be with me. Right now, I'm not one of them. Uh, just, uh, sweet of you to bring this incredible disguise. I hate to tell you, but uh, it does absolutely nothing to hide this enormous shiny mass of scrap metal that I'm sitting in. I thought it'd be cool to look like ninjas. Hush, he's got it. Here he cool. comes. I'm here for Dr. Schinkel Hatton. I'm sorry? I mean, Dr. Sh Spitzelhaven. Sir, I'm afraid we don't have anyone here by that name. H.S. Ryan Recovery Center. Good afternoon. Dr. Sh Spill Commission? <clears throat> this is, uh, <clears throat> this is, uh, Dr. Uh, uh, Spitz Kaczynski here. It's an emergency of the highest degree. <gasps> uh, are, are you okay, sir? <gasps> <gasps> Go get Dr. Schunkenhoser. Oh, the man in front of you is uh, extremely dangerous. I ask you to leave the area. Abandon it now! Could you uh, wait here? Go get Dr. Jogginhoser! Come on, 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 come on,
go. Operation Jimmy Freedom, let's go. Open the door. <laughs> rushy, rushy, always with you. Jay. <clears throat> Jay. Um, about last night. <clears throat> you all right? Yeah. It's just a sore throat, that's all. I don't care about Alex or anything, you know. Really, I don't. Raw egg, honey, and lemon. Drink. JT, my voice is just tired, that's all. Just drink, OK? You told me you'd be able to do the show, so you're going to do the show, period. Oh, this stuff is so rude. Come on. Take your seat, then, both of you. Public health nurse? Oh, goody, another evil omen to put me at calm. Show of hands. Oral sex is safer than regular intercourse. OK. We think there has been a mini outbreak here at Degrassi of this. Gonorrhea? <laughs> Sorry. Did I just say that out loud? It's not a very nice word, is it? Gonorrhea. And how do you know if you have gonorrhea? Well, some symptoms are genital discharge, bleeding, burning, or you might get a fever or a sore throat. Hey, Amy, got something to tell us? Shut up. And sometimes those with the disease show no symptoms at all. Lucky, you might think. Think again. Untreated gonorrhea can cause arthritis, heart disease, infertility. OK. Recognize this? <laughs> Good. If you've had any sex without using one of these, you are at risk. This applies to oral sex as well, especially if you've had it with a bunch of people or if your partner has. So incredibly stupid. You're here, aren't you? Breathing fresh bar air. Mr. Mobility just got checked out. It was more like a what's with the game drive by. I'm so sorry. Uh, leave it. You sure? I'm really sorry. OK, guys, let's go back now. Not unless the kid is performing live in your hospital. Man. Come on. I can't believe I have to be Alex. Tell me you're as nervous as I am. Is the Pope a Catholic? Does Jay have gonorrhea? Many. Alex and Amy happen to be sick. What are you going to do out there? I'm Emma. I play the part of Mina. If you have any conscience at all, you will not kiss Dracula. Emma! The kid's going to be on any second. I can't see a thing. There aren't really any wheelchair seats. There aren't any seats. Maybe there's some down in front. Uh, maybe there's a manager. Hey, you guys can't leave me here. Just two seconds, OK, buddy? Good evening, Toronto! Oh, come on! Yo, my name is because I've been to do a small show like this. I thought it was bad with the sauce.
my brain says calm to you, you shall cross land or sea to do my bidding. And to that end, this. But no. I cannot. Dracula. to deserve such a fate. I, who have walked in meekness and righteousness all my days. God, pity me! You threw the scene. That was completely unprofessional. <laughs> I'd rather be that than diseased. What did you say? There isn't enough antibiotic in the world that would make me kiss you. And that little smooch in the hall the other day, who knows what I caught from that. Thanks so much. Screw him. Why did you do this to me? I didn't do anything. You gave me a social disease. You said you didn't care. Even this morning you said it. Just leave me alone, OK? Look, I never told Alex about you, Emma. I liked how you had Virtue, or whatever. I don't. Not any of that. Come on! Who are you trying to fool? Everybody knows. Everybody knows about the real you. Just... back for once it came. Dearest Lucy, forgive me. Forgive us all! Hold faster, boy! The kid was basically sweating on that. I've never been in the shower. What? <laughs> Smell like Jack Daniels, yeah. right? Your nurse called me. I'm furious. So what are you gonna do? Brown me? Look, today was an obstacle course, okay? And I brought my A game. I had an A-game. James, listen. No, I'm ready to come home. Now you have to be ready for it. Will you be here tomorrow morning? Depends. What are you offering? Find you a home care person to fill in the gap, be with you all the time. So amazing, I couldn't believe it was the same girl. Kate Hepburn was reborn. Did we wake you, Miss Hepburn? I, I wasn't asleep. Post show adrenaline. You probably feel fantastic right now, huh? And for the record, Snake and me walking on eggshells around you is officially over. Our girl's back. I just wanted you to be proud before how brave and perfect I was. And <laughs> After everything happened and Rick died, I couldn't hold on to it anymore. You don't have to be brave or perfect ever. Just be you. But what if I don't like me very much right now? I need somebody to take me to the clinic. Are you sick? Do you have a fever? No. I just need to go to the health unit tomorrow. Um, there's something going around the school right now, but it's a, it's a very specific group. And Em, if you're worried, there's a good chance you don't have to be. I have to.
have to be. Emma. Just say you'll take me. Just say. making a big deal out of it. Hazel tried to stop us. Emphasis on try. Everyone was really excited to have you back. Everyone? OK, who's ramping it with me? Let's go. <laughs> Listen, uh, about the, the uh, hospital, uh, wheels, chair. It's a wheelchair. Gawk all you want. It's not going away. Yeah, um, dude, I, I would have come, but things got crazy busy around you, and you know how it is. You know what I understand? I understand. I probably should have been there for you instead of at the hospital getting a bullet removed from my spine. My bad. I'm sorry, OK? I, I didn't know what to say or how to act. I suck. Sit down at this angle. I can see up your nose. Not good. You should hate me. That takes too much energy. I got other things to deal with, like hooking up some fat rims for the ride. Jimmy Brooks is in the house. What's up, man? Hey. You gonna help me keep that guy in line? Yeah. <laughs> OK. I'm a cheater. I'm a loser. I feel like a fallen user in a world so full of pain. Goodbye, you, sir. I can see myself in two. You don't know. I'm ashamed you know, to hear my yeah, name it, next to yours. I'm ashamed to hear my name. After, after the game today, I have an idea. Your lips taste like sweet jelly. Hey, Liberty, how's your mono? <sighs> Bravo, Daniel, you've discovered humor. So, JT, boarding park awaits. As does the hot tub, a perfect 105 Fahrenheit, 40.56 degrees Celsius. Just checked. Did you check the chlorine level? It's bromine, my little Rottweiler. Still not strong enough to kill whatever fungus is growing on you. You know what? My shorts double as a bathing suit. JT! Rolling on cement with you. Rolling in the water with your sister. If Dad touches you in there together... Oh, but he won't, because if he comes home, he'll give us a signal. Something obnoxious, you know? Like, uh, bark. to the playoffs, the team would like to thank someone who helped get them there. Let's have a big round of applause for Jimmy Brooks. Hey, 
Hey, um, all right. Your name's already on here twice, but uh, from now on, Degrassi's MVP basketball award will be known as the Jimmy Brooks Trophy. Definitely, definitely, definitely a surprise. surprise. I, guess I guess all I can, I can say, say is uh, uh, we go for MVP number, number three next year, right? Go right? <laughs> <laughs> Panthers. Good afternoon, Daniel. Sister around? She's out back, soaking all her problems away. Mm hmm. Woof. Why didn't you tell me my butt was so big? Because I like your butt. <laughs> out! Now! You're just. JT, go home. JT's one of my oldest friends. He's also a teenage boy. You want to see JT again? Wait until you're 20. if you want to be back next year, right? There won't be a next year spin. My basketball career, my whole future is gone. It's like these two pieces of me. Dude, don't. Look, stuck in a bed for three months, you can't stop thinking. About getting better, man, and you will. About Rick and how I wrote him just as hard as you guys. Even harder. Yeah, but you didn't set up the paint. I know, but that doesn't change anything, does it? Rick put me in this chair for life. For life! Sometimes I just wish he had better aim. Finish the job. You don't mean that. You know what I mean? Are you in the chair? Huh? Do you wake up every morning thinking you can walk and then remembering that you will never, ever walk again? It's not your fault. After, after we dumped that stuff on Rick, me and Jay, told him you were behind it. And then he shot me. Exactly, and now I have to fix it. I can go fix it someplace else. It's far away from Jimmy. And that includes the party tonight, all right? Make other plans. <laughs> Manny. Sister. The code. Somebody cue the laugh track. 
Fine, she's my sister, and you don't have my permission to go out with her. Excuse me? She's the smartest person in the school, and you don't even have an IQ. You don't deserve her. It's too bad because, uh, the smartest girl in the school thinks I do. I guess you'll need her help to read the instructions to your penis, Paul. <laughs> Danny, I swear. Brother's bleeding because of you. I thought this place was a madhouse after school. Where's the gang? Who's the guy got a bribe around here to get some service? You don't call me psychic, but I called it. You had to open your trap, didn't you? Jimmy deserved to know the truth. Cool. So tell me, being an outcast, everyone hating you, does that make you feel any better? Because if you want to be punished, I can slap you around myself. Hey, 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 you're not going to order. Time to leave, OK? Let's go. Right now. Easy. I didn't come here to fight. I just wanted to introduce you to my friends. Because, buddy, you need friends. <laughs> this guy, he's nasty. Tastes like fire, rubs people the wrong way. This guy here, well, sweet, refreshing. But when these two get together, <laughs> bad news. Kind of like you and me. Figure we at laws might as well try to have a good time. Liberty, no trespassing. Because of your stupid little boy crush ruined everything. Liberty, he's not what you think. He, he's just JT, a, a non-stop farting horn dog. He was my boyfriend. So Jimmy's party, did you lose your invitation? No, nah, man. They all hate me. Hey, my philosophy, they can all go to hell. Yeah. But they weren't your friends to begin with. It's this whole blame thing, though. Rick is the bad guy, but now that he's gone, everyone's looking to blame someone else. Yeah, man. It, it's like, it's like I'm the guy who brought the gun to school. I'm, I'm the guy who shot Jimmy, right? I'm the criminal. It's not fair. <sighs> you want some cheese with that wine, or you're gonna do something about it? I think I just found my invitation. Lost. <laughs> Listen, I wish, I wish none of that ever happened, Jimmy. You're drunk. Just how can I get you to stop hating me? 
Spinner, you should really go. Can't you take a hint? Just chew me out, bite my head off. I don't care. Just tell me, please. Craig, it's your song, so. Guys don't want me here. I'm going home. Come on, spin your drunk, all right? The next thing you know, you're in, in jail or the hospital or the morgue. Care. Greg. 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 Spinner, get out of the car. Get out of the car. Spinner, get out of the car. Spin, come on. Spin, don't. Come on, Spinner, don't be stupid! Move, Jimmy, I mean it! Look, I don't feel sorry for you, if that's what you want, okay? I want my friend back. When have you ever treated me like a friend? When you lied to Rick? When you told me about it? You needed to know. No, you needed to make yourself feel better. Why don't you for once just think about somebody other than Spinner? Or you know what? Just go drive off a bridge. I don't care. I don't. You're dead to me already. <laughs> my fault. I started the fight. He didn't have to finish it. Liberty! Hey, Danny. Where's your sister? Student council meeting. She already left. Oh? Huh? I could have swore I heard you two just talking. <laughs> Who were you talking to? Just practicing. Oral presentation today. Oh, well. Keep it up. And don't be late for school. Okay, go to school, guys. Oh, gross! I give up. Gavin, if you'd like to talk this uh, some other time, I no, no. I'm ready now. I bullied Rick a lot, and the whack your brain contest, the paint and feathers thing. Yeah. It was my idea. Is there anyone else I need to talk to about that? Well? <clears throat> Jay. Jay Hogart. He was in on it, too. Sarah, can you please pull Jay Hogart out of class? Please have him wait for me. I don't even know where to begin. This is beyond anything you've ever done at this school. I know, I know, and... If you have to suspend me, suspend. I Suspend? A boy died. Another one is confined to a wheelchair for what might be the rest of his life. I'm sorry. I know you're sorry, but it does not change what you did. 
Just go to your locker, pack your things, and I'll notify your parents. Um, when do I get to come back? Gavin, we have zero tolerance for bullying, and I have no choice. I'm expelling you. <laughs>